Top 25 Laboratory Technician Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked during laboratory technician interviews. Each question is designed to assess your technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and understanding of laboratory protocols. We will provide detailed answers and tips to help you effectively communicate your qualifications and experience. Whether you are a seasoned professional or new to the field, this guide will prepare you for success in your interview. 1. What experience do you have working in a laboratory setting? I have spent several years working in various laboratory environments, including clinical, research, and quality control labs. During this time, I have gained hands-on experience with a variety of techniques such as sample preparation, chromatography, and spectrophotometry. I have collaborated with multidisciplinary teams on projects that required precise data collection and analysis. My experience includes maintaining laboratory equipment and adhering to strict safety protocols to ensure compliance with regulatory standards. I am comfortable working independently or as part of a team, which enhances my adaptability in dynamic settings. 2. Can you describe your familiarity with laboratory equipment and instruments? I have extensive familiarity with a variety of laboratory equipment and instruments. I have worked with centrifuges, spectrophotometers, pipettes, and autoclaves, ensuring proper use and maintenance. My experience includes operating chromatography systems for sample separation and analyzing data using software tools. I have also used microscopes for cellular studies and conducted experiments that required precise measurements. My training has emphasized safety protocols while handling equipment, along with regular calibration to ensure accuracy in results. 3. How do you ensure accuracy and precision in your lab work? To ensure accuracy and precision in lab work, I follow a systematic approach. First, I carefully calibrate all equipment before use, adhering to the manufacturer's specifications. I perform multiple trials for experiments, averaging results to mitigate any anomalies. Meticulous attention is given to measurement techniques, utilizing appropriate tools for the task at hand. Additionally, I maintain detailed records of all procedures and results, allowing for easy review and verification. Regularly reviewing protocols and staying informed about best practices also aids in achieving reliable outcomes in laboratory experiments. 4. What steps do you take to maintain a sterile or contamination-free environment? Maintaining a sterile or contamination-free environment is crucial in laboratory settings. I begin by wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves, lab coats, and masks. Before starting any work, I ensure that all surfaces and equipment are disinfected. I utilize aseptic techniques during sample handling, including minimizing exposure to air and using sterile tools. Regular monitoring of the environment, such as checking for any signs of contamination, is also vital. Lastly, I adhere strictly to protocols for waste disposal, ensuring that contaminated materials are disposed of safely and appropriately. 5. How do you handle and dispose of hazardous materials? Handling and disposing of hazardous materials requires strict adherence to safety protocols and regulations. First, I always assess the type of hazardous waste and categorize it accordingly. I use appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves and goggles to minimize exposure. For disposal, I follow the guidelines set by local environmental agencies, ensuring that materials are placed in designated containers clearly labeled for hazardous waste. Regular training sessions keep me informed about updated disposal methods. I also ensure proper documentation of waste disposal for compliance and traceability. 6. Describe your experience with sample preparation and analysis. In my previous laboratory role, I was responsible for preparing various biological samples for analysis using techniques such as homogenization, centrifugation, and filtration. I ensured that samples were accurately labeled and stored under appropriate conditions to maintain their integrity. Additionally, I performed quantitative and qualitative analyses, utilizing spectrophotometry and chromatography methods. I regularly collaborated with team members to optimize protocols and troubleshoot any issues encountered during sample processing, ensuring reliable results for our research objectives. My meticulous attention to detail contributed significantly to the accuracy of our findings. 7. How do you document and record laboratory results? Accurate documentation is essential for maintaining the integrity of lab work. I use a systematic approach to record results, ensuring that all data is entered in real time to avoid discrepancies. Each entry includes the date, time, and specific conditions under which the experiment was conducted. I utilize both electronic lab notebooks and manual records, depending on the lab's requirements. Regular audits of these records help identify any inconsistencies. I also ensure that all results are backed up and securely stored to facilitate easy retrieval for future reference and compliance with regulatory standards. 8. Have you worked with any laboratory information management systems, LIMS? Yes, I have experience working with various laboratory information management systems, LIMS, throughout my career. I have utilized LIMS to manage sample tracking, data entry, and result reporting efficiently. My familiarity includes configuring workflows, ensuring data integrity, and generating reports that facilitate decision-making. 
I appreciate how LIMS streamlines laboratory operations, enhances data accessibility, and improves compliance with regulatory standards. This experience has equipped me with the skills needed to optimize laboratory processes and increase productivity while maintaining high-quality standards. 9. What safety protocols do you follow in the lab? In the lab, I strictly adhere to safety protocols to ensure a safe working environment. I always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including gloves, goggles, and lab coats. I familiarize myself with material safety data sheets, MSDS, for all chemicals used and follow proper labeling procedures. Regularly, I participate in safety training sessions to stay updated on best practices. Additionally, I ensure that emergency equipment, such as eyewash stations and fire extinguishers, is accessible and functional. By promoting a culture of safety, I encourage my colleagues to prioritize safety measures as well. 10. How do you troubleshoot equipment malfunctions? When troubleshooting equipment malfunctions, I first ensure that I understand the equipment's manual and standard operating procedures. I then perform a visual inspection to identify any obvious issues, such as loose connections or damaged components. If no visible problems are found, I check for error messages or indicators on the device. Following this, I cross-reference the issue with previous maintenance logs to see if it has been reported before. If necessary, I consult with colleagues who may have experience with the specific issue, and if the problem persists, I contact technical support for further assistance. 11. Can you explain a time when you identified an error in your work and corrected it? During a routine analysis, I noticed discrepancies in the results of a sample. After double-checking my calculations and the calibration of the equipment, I realized I had misinterpreted the data due to a misunderstanding of the reagent concentrations. I promptly informed my supervisor and reran the tests with the correct parameters. This experience taught me the importance of meticulous data review and clear communication in a laboratory setting. By taking swift action, I ensured the integrity of the research and maintained our commitment to quality results. 12. What techniques do you use to calibrate lab instruments? Calibrating lab instruments involves several key techniques to ensure accuracy. First, I follow the manufacturer's guidelines for each specific instrument, which often include the use of standard reference materials. I perform routine checks using calibration solutions or weights to verify the instrument's performance. Adjustments are made based on the calibration results, ensuring that the readings align with the established standards. Regular maintenance schedules are also essential, as they help in identifying any potential issues before they affect the accuracy of measurements. Keeping detailed records of each calibration session is vital for traceability and compliance. 13. How do you prioritize tasks when handling multiple samples or tests? When managing multiple samples or tests, I first assess the urgency and importance of each task. I create a prioritized list based on deadlines, the complexity of the procedures, and any dependencies between tasks. Utilizing digital tools like task management software helps me track progress and deadlines efficiently. I also allocate specific time slots for each task, ensuring I remain focused and organized. Regularly reviewing my priorities allows me to adapt to any changes or unexpected issues that may arise, maintaining high-quality work while ensuring timely completion. 14. Describe your experience with quality control and assurance procedures. In my previous roles, I have been deeply involved in implementing quality control and assurance procedures to ensure the integrity of laboratory results. I regularly conducted calibration of instruments and performed routine checks on equipment to maintain accuracy. I participated in internal audits, reviewing protocols and results to identify areas for improvement. Additionally, I collaborated with team members to develop standard operating procedures, SOPs, that adhered to industry regulations, promoting consistency and reliability in our processes. This proactive approach helped in minimizing errors and ensuring high-quality outcomes in our experiments. 15. Have you ever assisted in developing or optimizing lab protocols? Yes, I have assisted in developing and optimizing lab protocols during my previous role as a laboratory technician. I collaborated with senior scientists to review existing procedures and identify areas for improvement. By conducting experiments and analyzing data, we were able to refine protocols for sample preparation and analysis. This process not only improved the reliability of our results but also enhanced efficiency by reducing the time required for certain procedures. I enjoy the challenge of finding innovative solutions and applying best practices to ensure our lab maintained high standards. 16. How do you stay updated with industry standards and best practices? Staying updated with industry standards and best practices involves a multifaceted approach. Regularly attending workshops, webinars, and conferences allows me to gain insights into recent advancements and methodologies. Subscribing to relevant journals and online publications helps me keep abreast of new research and emerging technologies. Additionally, I actively participate in professional networks and forums where I can exchange knowledge with peers. Engaging in continuous education through certifications ensures that my skills remain sharp and relevant to current laboratory practices. 17. What is your experience with pipetting and other precise measurements? My experience with pipetting involves using various types of pipettes, 
including micropipettes and electronic pipettes, for accurate liquid transfers. I have conducted numerous experiments that required precise measurements of reagents, ensuring that each volume is accurate to minimize variability in results. I follow standardized protocols for pipetting techniques, such as pre-wetting tips and maintaining consistent pipetting speeds. In addition, I regularly calibrate pipettes to ensure accuracy in measurements and have trained others on proper pipetting techniques to enhance overall lab efficiency and reliability of results. 18. How do you handle working under tight deadlines? Working under tight deadlines requires a structured approach. First, I prioritize tasks based on their urgency and importance, ensuring that critical work is completed first. I break larger projects into smaller, manageable steps, allowing me to focus on one task at a time. Effective communication is essential. I keep my team informed of my progress and any potential roadblocks. Additionally, I maintain a calm demeanor to avoid unnecessary stress, using tools like checklists and timers to stay on track. This method helps me deliver accurate results within the required timeframe. 19. Can you explain a complex lab procedure in simple terms? In molecular biology, a common complex procedure is polymerase chain reaction, PCR. Essentially, PCR is a technique used to amplify a specific segment of DNA. It involves three main steps. Denaturation, where the DNA strands separate at high temperatures. Annealing, during which primers bind to the target DNA sequence at a lower temperature. And extension, where a DNA polymerase enzyme synthesizes new DNA strands. By repeating these steps multiple times, millions of copies of the desired DNA segment can be produced, allowing for further analysis or experimentation. 20. What would you do if you noticed a coworker not following safety protocols? If I noticed a coworker not following safety protocols, I would first assess the situation to ensure that no immediate danger was present. Then, I would approach my coworker privately and express my concerns in a respectful and non confrontational manner. It is important to highlight the significance of safety protocols for everyone's well being. If the behavior continued or the coworker was unresponsive, I would escalate the issue to a supervisor or management to ensure proper action is taken. Maintaining a safe working environment is crucial for all personnel in the lab. 21. Describe a time you worked as part of a lab team. I once collaborated with a diverse lab team on a project analyzing water samples for contaminants. Each member had specific roles, and I was responsible for the sample preparation and testing. We held regular meetings to discuss our progress and troubleshoot any issues. During one phase, we encountered inconsistent results. By working together, we identified the source of the error in the calibration of our equipment. After recalibrating, we achieved accurate readings. This experience reinforced the importance of communication and teamwork in achieving reliable outcomes in our research efforts. 22. How do you manage inventory and order lab supplies? Managing inventory and ordering lab supplies involves a systematic approach. I regularly conduct inventory checks to track the availability of essential materials. This includes monitoring expiration dates and usage rates to anticipate needs. I utilize inventory management software to streamline the process, allowing for real-time tracking. When supplies run low, I communicate with vendors to place timely orders, ensuring that we maintain sufficient stock. I also keep a record of past orders to identify patterns in usage, which helps in optimizing future orders and reducing costs. 23. Have you ever trained or supervised others in the lab? Yes, I have had the opportunity to train and supervise new lab technicians during my previous role. I developed a structured onboarding program that included hands-on training with various laboratory equipment and safety protocols. I believe in fostering a collaborative environment where questions are encouraged, which helps new team members feel more comfortable and confident in their roles. Regular check-ins allowed me to assess their progress and provide constructive feedback. This experience not only improved team efficiency but also reinforced my leadership skills in a laboratory setting. 24. What certifications or licenses do you hold relevant to this role? I hold a certification in clinical laboratory science from the American Society for Clinical Pathology, ASCP, which has equipped me with the necessary skills and knowledge for laboratory work. Additionally, I have completed training in good laboratory practices, GLP, and Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, regulations. These certifications ensure my understanding of laboratory safety standards and compliance with regulatory requirements. I also possess a certification in chemical hygiene, which emphasizes the importance of safe handling and disposal of hazardous materials in the lab environment. 25. Why are you interested in this laboratory technician position? I am drawn to this laboratory technician position because it aligns with my passion for scientific inquiry and hands-on experimentation. The opportunity to contribute to innovative research excites me, as I am eager to apply my skills in a practical setting. I am particularly impressed by the organization's commitment to quality and excellence in laboratory practices. Additionally, I value the chance to collaborate with a talented team of professionals who share my dedication to advancing scientific knowledge. I believe this role will allow me to grow both personally and professionally while making meaningful contributions to the field.
In this video, we've explored the top 25 laboratory technician interview questions and their answers, equipping you with the knowledge and confidence to excel in your job search. Understanding these questions can significantly improve your chances of impressing potential employers and securing the position you desire. Remember to practice your responses and tailor them to your unique experiences. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Your support helps us create more resources to assist you in your career journey.